This is the largest chocolate museum in Belgium, here in Antwerp. You know what I love about this place? They have the Chinese gate right in front. Pretty amazing. Uh, chocolate heaven. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. David, pleasure. Nice to meet you. I'm excited, my man. Awesome. We're making lots of chocolate today? Uh, yeah, we're going to try to make chocolate. Try to make chocolate. Yeah. Fantastic. So what's your name? Lawrence. Lawrence. So tell me about this place. It looks huge. Yeah, it's absolutely enormous. So we have the uh, shop and we have the experience. So that's where we're going to learn about chocolate, uh, about Belgian chocolate specifically. Uh, we're firstly going to do some rooms where we uh, try to meet the chocolate, the story behind Belgian chocolate, where does chocolate come from, and we'll see the big magical machine where we actually make the chocolate. Fantastic. We'll go downstairs and then upstairs to the ateliers where we are going to try and make chocolate. If you guys don't know, they make the best chocolate in the world. Sorry to the Swiss. <laughs> so man, how are you doing? Hi. Hey, David. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So how do you say good morning in Dutch? Because I'm saying good morning, but it's not. It's kind of good, so it's goeie morgen. Goeie morgen. Yeah, yeah. Goeie morgen. Pretty close, yeah. And how do you say I'm ready to eat chocolate? Oh, I'm ready to eat chocolate. You've been clad in chocolate and eat. That's pretty close. That's pretty good. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I speak three languages, so I'm trying to speak more. Okay. Okay. So over here is the shop. Yeah, exactly. So the shop where we sell all, all our own products and some of the biggest brands from Belgium, because we're a Belgian chocolate museum. So we try to represent all the uh, big brands of Belgium, but we love to sell our own chocolate, of course. So this is the chocolate shop. We're going to skip this for now. We're going straight for the experience, but we have to show you this. This is the chocolate vault. Dude, what is this? So you can see all the famous golden coins made out of chocolate. We golden coins. Yeah. And is it all chocolate bars? Yeah, it's the bottle tent. So it's the box where we put the uh, Belgium cooling inside. So that's the, the wall is made of them. It's like epic golden right. coins. My daughters love milk chocolate, so I'm going to take a lot of milk chocolate today. Look at this door. I don't know, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm a chocolate fiend. I'm an addict. No, literally, I eat chocolate every day. I all day. It. It's so good. What is this? Can <sighs> smell all the chocolate? No, no, it's like... It's heaven. It is heaven. Yeah. And heaven in, in Dutch is haven. Yeah, yeah. Got it. I'm learning, I'm learning my best. Chocolate fountain. Do we have one of these to stick my hand in? Like... Uh, of course, <laughs> we have something better to put your hand in. Be better? Yeah, better. <laughs> cool. This so is going to be so all right. the um, people that visit the museum, they can taste all different kinds of chocolate. So we have 10 spread out. Uh, we made, um, we chose 10 different kinds of chocolate. They can try right there? Yeah, yeah. So they get a spoon and they can just unlimitedly try and eat all the chocolate they want. We'll do that after. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Exactly. As much as they want. As much as they want. As much <laughs> as they can take, I would like. So they get their cacao beans from Ghana, Accra. My man, we love Accra. Accra is the best. Fufu, man. Fufu all day. Fufu Kenke. Look, this is it. it's fufu. So on this wall you can test your knowledge about chocolate. So in here you can have all of the little know-hows. Um, for example, this one, chocolate eating uh, stimulates your brain. It does, so if you eat chocolate, it makes you smarter. And this is where we're making chocolate today. Yeah, exactly, so this is the atelier where we always work and we are open 7 out of 7, so you can always see the chocolate taste work. And uh, today we're going to try to make some chocolate ourselves. And it's called Chocolate Academy. Um, it's a chocolate academy, um, but we call it the uh, atelier, atelier of the chocolate nation. It's workspace. Not workspace, yeah. workspace. I'm happy, let's go. Important jackets. Yeah. Make sure it's not dirty. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I don't have hair. <laughs> oh, this place, I don't, I don't get how people work in this place. I would just eat chocolate all day here, you know? It's like. Right here we have gold chocolate and ruby chocolate. So what does that mean? I've never seen this. Okay, so gold one is uh, actually caramel chocolate. It tastes like caramel. Uh, and what is it? It's white chocolate that's made into caramel chocolate. So they uh, caramelized the milk powder and then they made it into a chocolate. So it, if you taste it in a moment, you're gonna be mind blown. It's the most people favorite. So if you How come do we... downstairs where you saw the machines, everybody likes to do two, three times. Two, three times. They love them so much, yeah. And this one? Uh, Ruby, it's the uh, newest chocolate. So you have normally three uh, different ones. The milk one, white one, and dark chocolate. Uh, and then Ruby came in at 2018. So it's the newest chocolate of them all. You can think it's all of uh, added uh, color and taste, but it's totally natural. I mean, it's the most unique chocolate I've ever seen. I've never seen a Ruby chocolate. Yeah, exactly. The color is beautiful. It is. Uh, the taste of it, it's really, it's an acid taste. 
um, and it's really fruity and fresh. So I'll give you a spoon in a moment, you can try it. Uh, and then... Um, what is this? I just want to put my hand in it. Spoon. It's mushroom and it's filled with popping candy. That's why we call it magic. Uh, and if you eat it, your mouth start, uh, starts popping. Uh, then we made heels for the woman, obviously. They love their heels, so we tried to make a red one. And then obviously uh, a chocolate duck. I would say you can find them in the shop, put them in your bath. But I would put this one in my mouth and eat it. We can literally eat this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You would say it's a uh, rubber ducky, but... I thought it was just a mold. And no, you were not actually yeah. the chocolate. No, this is actually this edible. Is else, so. <laughs> if you want to, you can take a bite of it and... You can take no. a bite of it? I feel so bad. <laughs> you can do. I'm mean, gonna remake one of them. My, my daughters will love this. Look at this, bro. I'm going for it. My kids will love this. The heel? <laughs> I'm gonna have like a kilo of chocolate today. White chocolate. White chocolate, yeah. The cacao butter. Yeah, exactly. Pure. Oh. The chocolate's really full, really creamy, so you can taste all the cacao buttered riches of it, and then the um, creaminess of the milk part that we use. So it's really good, fine Dalton chocolate we're trying to do. What should I make? Because you can choose the chocolate yeah. you want, right? Exactly. So we can make a, you can try to remake a rubber ducky. You can choose either chocolate you want. Uh, we can try to make the red heel again. Or we can go for the magic mushroom we have. And it's with popping candy as well. Popping candy where? Popping candy is inside of the yeah? top of the... Yeah? Do I just... You can try. Ah. Pop rocks. Yeah. Oh, no, that's amazing. <laughs> I never had Pop Rocks with chocolate. If you never had Pop Rocks before, the sensation is just like, it just keeps going, it keeps popping throughout your whole mouth. But this with chocolate. I'm gonna get a chocolate rush right now. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want you to have. And you make two of these. Uh, we can, yeah. Let's do it, let's yeah. do it. That's really cool. We what always try to do something different because you have a lot of chocolatiers in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So we try to stand out and do something really magical, spectacular because none of us were the biggest Belgian chocolate cuisine, so we have to try and stand out a little bit. So we make duckies, we make high heels. I mean, it's a different experience in chocolate. Exactly, yeah. So we can uh, go ahead and try and mold them, um, and at the end we can try to spray one as well. So I spray them with a thin layer of gecko butter and we try to color it, and you can try to spray one as well. It's like spraying the car, but then with chocolate mold. All right, okay. so, so where's the bed? Because I need to like move in. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. We'll do probably one gold and then one, um, one which one's milk? Uh, the middle one. Like the coolest chocolate experience of my life. I went to a lot of chocolate places in Brussels. I've been to chocolate places all over the world. I was just in Belize for chocolate. But doing this type of experience this is why you come here. You're not just want to go to a chocolate museum and try chocolate. You want to make chocolate. My daughter's going to love it, man. Hopefully. Got to keep the sanitary. So what was the country that you liked the most out of 100? Belgium. No, I've been dying to come to this country. Chocolate, waffles, fries, beer, language. We have everything you need. Everything. So what you're going to do, you're going to press, uh, press the pedal. Chocolate will stop running. You take your mold underneath and you fill it up with the chocolate. You press again, you come underneath and then you're going to vibrate. So the chocolate can go everywhere in the mold. Make sure you move the chocolate nicely around. And then the most important, to have a nice and thin heel. So just turn it around and the chocolate will run out. Just let it stand there for a couple of seconds. Make sure it nicely will uh, vibrate all the chocolate that we don't need. So all the excess comes out. So you just let it rest for 10 minutes and you do a second layer and then it's ready. Press the pedal. There you go. Awesome. Too much? It's okay. Then you take it out and you vibrate it on here or over there. Like this? Yeah. And then you make sure all the chocolate has been everywhere. So nicely in the heel, on the sides. Don't see anything of red anymore. We'll flip it around yeah. to get rid of all that excess chocolate and then you put it here so it vibrates. Yeah. That smell. Good, no, I've never smelled chocolate like this. I mean, just because there's so many different ones yeah. all hitting at once. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. And then we leave it? You just put it on the table, on the side. On its side. Yeah. So when you put it on the table, the chocolate that will be inside, they will run on to this one side. You flip it around to second layer, so you have a nice uh, layer of chocolate on every side. So we have five different chocolate options. I went with the gold, yeah. which has caramel, and I'm going with the milk chocolate. So, ready? So what I'm doing now with the vibration is that I'm putting chocolate throughout the whole mold. Yeah, exactly. So you make a nice layer of chocolate on all the gecko butter that we sprayed in, just to make sure it will come out nicely. Like that, and then the vibration, get rid of all that excess. Wow. 
Yeah. Done? Yeah. So let's leave it here? Yeah. On the side. So now 20 minutes? Uh, this one we can wait five minutes, then we do a second layer, and then we put it into our cooling and let it dress for 30 minutes. And that's so it. We can take it so let's try another piece of chocolate, because you said you had some Belize chocolate. So I was recently in Belize for the chocolate festival, and my man here is saying this is the best Belizean chocolate made in Belgium. Exactly. So we make it in here, in our own beans bar. So we uh, try and buy the beans from Belize. We have seven different origins. So this one is from Belize. Mmm. Something like 70%? Yeah, it's 75. Yeah. Wow. Milky chocolate. Exactly. So it's actually dark chocolate, oh. but it has some, yeah, the rest that we added was sugar and cacao butter. So it's really healthy because the more percent that you have in your chocolate, the healthier it will get. Of course. You have less fat and less sugar. But for me, 90% is the best. And what makes Belgian chocolate so unique is that 100% um, pure cacao butter. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody does it like this, yeah, right? That's yeah. what that's what makes it like it another is, level yeah, of chocolate. Yeah, exactly. We you try to use uh, less uh, sugar because Swiss chocolate has a lot of sugar and milk, so that's why it's way sweeter and as yummy as Belgian chocolate. So mm. we try to go for more mass, so it will be better in quality. Perfect. Then you just flip around. Good. Yeah, perfect. And then now just put it on the, table. the yeah. other side. So you have to switch the side. And then flip it over. Amazing. That milk chocolate. Good? Yep, awesome. And then we go right here. Right the side. He brought us some spoons so we can taste ruby as well. So just grab. Yep. So this one's caramel. That's the best chocolate of all time. It's like so crazy, bro. Let's see. It's like pure sugar, huh? Tried five in a row. Ah, the sugar rush that I'm gonna have today will be insane. It's like um, Willy Wonka stuff, you know? Wow, bro. It's like some of the pure chocolate I've ever tried. So it's ready to put some into our fridge and let's let them set for around 30 minutes, so let them cool nicely, and then they'll be able to pop out of our, uh, of our mold. Oh. So in here, all the chocolate that we make, we store it, <sighs> and everything that we make during the day, it's always in here. So just put it anywhere? Just put it on the top, yeah. Like this? That's cool, it's like a stereo exactly. mold. You want to have a bottle of water? Yes, so bottle of water, please. Of yeah, because we have to like cleanse this palate a little bit. The sensation I have is so weird, but it's so good. Well, you know what? I want to show you guys. So I tried two. I'm going to try the other three, which are the originals, right? White, milk, and dark. The one with white. Oh man, the best chocolate on earth. Whoa, sugar rust for days. Um, it's like a chocolate flower. It's a beehive. It's a beehive. Yeah, well, look at it from the other Oh side. my gosh, you yeah. saw the bee? A chocolate beehive. I'll take it home. You think it, we make it. You think it, we make it. So now we're gonna go through the museum. So many different rooms, each one's around five minutes, going through the history of chocolate, how chocolate is made. We're gonna try some more chocolate. All that chocolate we had there came from cacao beans from Ghana, so West Africa, my Ghanaians. We have the store here, and where is the first room? We're gonna get our audio guide. Audio Just guide. Make sure they uh, will guide us, you can listen to it, what they say, and then we'll uh, hop straight into the... Okay, so you have your sensors right at the light bulb, and this sensor makes contact with the scanner, this one, okay? Not beneath it, but at the black dot. And then you listen like a cell phone, because the sound system is right here. Perfect. Okay, and uh, the first scan is under the TV. You scan, you listen, and you wait in front of the door because it will open in like three minutes. Because somebody's inside, we have to wait five minutes for the door to open. It's like basically like a little private tour, correct? So you just scan this. There you go. There you go. What room is this? Stand here. Wacht hier. So stand here. Wacht hier. Whoa, that's cool. And so you just put it to your ears, you can listen. Wow, look at that chocolate. Wow. 
this is cool. It's like Willy Wonka. Next room. So you lift it up again and it will capture the sound. There we go. I love that. It's a real cacao tree. That's a real cacao tree. Yeah. This is a real cocoa tree. Cacao. That's incredible. It shows you the whole thing. Like the entire aspect of what the roots look like in the ground. These are the cocoa beans. I actually like eating when they open it up. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wow. That's cool. They're explaining to you what happens to the tree and if it grew a different way, how much flowers it would have. Oh, I love the details here. Five minutes done. We're going to continue the next room. How many rooms is it? Uh, four. Four. So halfway there. Yep. So this is the transportation room. This is how they explain to you uh, how the beans go from, you know, the farm all the way over here. Yep, to the harbor of uh, the To the harbor, wherever the port is. Dude, it feels like I'm in Ghana. Oh yeah, that's so yummy. Like they say, just suck it. I actually feel like it's nice biting because you get that bitter sensation. Yeah. I'll eat the whole thing. They're um, starting to make chocolate that tastes like the, uh, the like, raw product. Like the raw product. They're going to call it whole fruit. Uh, and oh. that's going to be a new chocolate that they're trying to bring in. But... You guys or any, uh, any, anybody? Anybody. Like oh, wow. um... See, I've never seen when they put it in the ground. I've yeah. seen this where they just like let it, leave it out there. On the table. Yeah, I guess because this is like in Africa, it's a little different in uh, Caribbean. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So the big difference uh, in taste as well. So the African beans they will be fermented under the banana leaves, and that's why they're intense and bitter. Uh, and in South America, they always do it on the table. That's what it is. is so I'm saying I've never seen that. Yeah, and then in Asia, um, the air is too moist, so there is too much water in the air. Um, and they will put campfires inside of the gecko plant, uh, gecko farm, and the taste will be smoked. And that's different in every country. Nah, hey, your country is amazing. Thank you. It really is. I'm super happy I came. It's good to have you in uh, Oh, thanks. Yeah. Farms. Yeah. And that's it. And this is where the real fun starts. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And they see if they're good. Yeah. So they just check on 100 beans. They cut them open in half and they check for any molds, any uh, bacteria, any insects. And then you, as a shop that if you buy the beans, you can choose uh, the percentage, the quota on how many beans you want that are not as good. So you, that's where you decide the quality of the gecko beans. Uh, that you this is my favorite part of the tour. It's like a movie. Yeah. If this is a movie and the experience, you're in it. And now comes the biggest uh, factory machine you will ever see that makes chocolate. Whoa. So somebody carries an entire bag and then pours it. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. This is the real thing. Massive chocolate machine. Oh, that's where they add the sugar? Yeah, sugar, milk, powder. Sugar, milk, powder. Oh, it's filling up fast, huh? Find the mess, so the mess goes through um, the wheels, mm -hmm. which is really tight. So all the sugar and all the milk powder will be nice and flat. It will go nice and smooth. And then as last step, you'll see it up there, and that's in the conch. Whoa! Next up, we're gonna uh, try some more chocolate. More? <laughs> Sorry. 
So right here we have the wall that shows you which parts of the world consume chocolate. 31% all of the Americas, 46% Europe, Africa, minimal, 3.9%. Australia, you Aussies don't like chocolate? What's happening? Well, this is percentage of the world yeah. in terms of consumption. 16.4 in Asia. I assume that because they're not really big into sweets. Uh, but this is amazing. 46% of you Europeans like your chocolate. Okay, this way? Yeah, this way. So uh, in here we made a little street that reminds you like in the old times where you can see all the ships that is uh, in the streets of Antwerp. Wow. And, uh, so this is like more of the, the museum museum. Yeah, exactly. Are you ready to try some chocolate in the chocolate restaurant? So crazy. What is this? This is like straight up Alice in Wonderland. Whoa. It's like Alice in Wonderland. It is, man, it is. So crazy. It's like a kid. Bro. It's like some chocolate uh, syrup. Yep. Some whipped cream. Whipped cream? It looks so real. My kids are coming here for sure. Like, I already know where I'm taking my kids on vacation. <laughs> he fell into it? <laughs> After the restaurant, we have what used to be a chocolate store in 1910 and 1960s. This is what it looked like. So if you want to, you can you know, go around this whole area, take photos, hear more, but we're gonna go try some chocolate. So these are some of the biggest chocolates in the world. Yeah, yeah, the ones we have in Belgium and it's worldwide now. So these ones awesome. we pick, we have to pick some because we can't put everything in. The seahorse is awesome. Th that's one piece of chocolate. Oh, that's the one from Gillian. It's one of the most, uh, most known brands worldwide from Belgian chocolate. Gillian. Yeah, he made the seahorses. And then obviously you have Magnum. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, I was about to leave this area. Yeah. No, this is great. Magnum, and that's Belgium, of course. Yeah. All these are Belgian brands. Exactly. Or they use Belgian chocolate to make it. Oh, yeah, so I guess I haven't thought about that when I eat chocolate like from brands in America, like what they're using. It's funny because it's like, what, what bean are they using? No, no, where is the chocolate being made? This is cool. This is a chocolate castle. This is crazy. Is this a Beauty and the Beast castle? Uh, it's, is this the one? Yeah. It looks like it. it I mean, it look like it. The, yeah. the Disney one, no? The from, is it from? It could be the one from Disney. I mean, it's a little more excessive in terms of the design and how many exactly. more uh, extra elements it has. Like little flowers you put on everything you can see, you can eat. <laughs> I want to just jump in there. <laughs> it's so good. You made this? Um, we worked together with a school where I went, and they will always make it. So we had one uh, a past, I think, five years ago. They remade this one. Uh, so every five years, we uh, tr tried to ask the last year of students, last year of chocolatiers, to make a new castle for here. And then we uh, go and pick it up. We work together with them really closely. So it's nice to bring the future of chocolatiers to try and recreate something for the museum. Like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And I'll sit here the whole movie until the end, and then I go meet my, my fiance. <laughs> you know, he was there the whole movie talking the story. We're back at the Chocolate Academy. They're making chocolate here. And now we're gonna open the mold. This is amazing. Yeah. All the chocolatiers. Hey guys, good? She's so pro. Professional, like to the max. Amazing. Is that for me? Sure. <laughs> that's a big block. So Some that's uh, stereo you saw. Uh, this one's actually a radio. It's made uh, for a uh, radio program in the Netherlands. They can just call in and they can uh, make chance to win a radio that we make in here. All right, let's get my incredible heels. <gasps> the molds. And if you want it, you can have the excess on the side. Just eat that. You can. <laughs> oh no, no. I broke it. It's okay. It's hard. Yeah, it has to do with um, the... That's it. Now you can just lift this one up. Can I? Yeah. Are you sure? Just make sure the uh, heel is coming out nicely. And then you can just lift it up. All right, so that's how you should do it. Hopefully you have another one over there somewhere. We have some. That's why you always make two. So 
so good. That pure cacao butter. Yeah, I can't go home with one daughter's heel. True. We need two. Yeah, definitely. What am I saying, heel? It's a, yeah, it's a heel. Yeah, it's a heel. I'm tired, guys. It's like the ultimate you gift. When you come with your daughters, they have to get this. If you come with your sons, get the mushrooms. They'll love the cracking. <laughs> definitely, they will like it. Perfect. Ready to go. Being here with the Chocolatiers is amazing. Seeing all the different molds they're using over here, they're doing like a castle. I'm taking this milk chocolate heel, but I think for my kids, I'll probably take like two of these as well. So one like this. They have to be exactly the same. If they're different, there will be a fight. What else? What else would they love? This is it milk? Dad, why do you take this from Melina, not from it's me? Exactly, exactly. What else do you recommend for my girls? There's so much. There's, so there's beer, right? They got beer. Yeah. yeah. So we got the chocolate beer. With, uh, we have the cosmetics as well. All of chocolate. Chocolate cos cosmetics. Yeah. Kylie Cosmetics ain't got on this. So it's the one right here. So you have everything you can find in chocolate: candles, uh, massage oil, whatever you need. The liquor, uh, liquor part. Oh, and this, seven fifty. What? Look, it's like you can take. Yeah, but if I give them this. It's too much to my daughters, like Melina M and then S for Sienna. I'll just take a D for David. I'll just buy a few things. We have the chocolate lips as well. It's Got it. Okay. Caramel chocolate. Okay. Okay. So these two, so we're like 10 euros now. Let me see. Let me see what else I can get them. Wow. The flower is cool. It, you know, I'm literally coming home with the most chocolate I've ever taken in my life. Probably. Leonidas That's a different one, right? Different brand. Yeah. These are the brands that are the biggest ones in Belgium. So biggest Which brands in side. Belgium right here. Yeah. How am I feeling? Sugar rush forever. Dude, it's been the most wild experience of my life. Okay, I got the heels, I got this. Let's go. Guten Morgen. I try my best, it's not yeah, Guten it's Morgen. Really Is it Guten Morgen? No cards, cash only? No, ca no cash. <laughs> This is Chocolate Nation, the closest thing you'll ever see to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Bye.